In a previous video, we took a look at an animation and an overview of branches in Git or GitHub. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate Git branching in Visual Studio 2002. Quick reminder of where we are. So typically, we will start a repository with a main branch, which we used to call a master branch. And each time we make a commit, that branch grows. But the trick is, when we have multiple developers working on one project, we need to be able to coordinate all of these parallel works, and we need a way to keep it safe in case one falls behind. And that's where branching really comes in handy, because what we can do is we can take this code that's essentially the master code or the main code, and we can create a branch, which is a snapshot at a period in time. And then we can create feature branches off of that. And we can do work in those feature branches without impacting another branch just yet. Now, when one feature branch is complete, we can do a pull request and then merge, and that adds that code to master. But we can do that in isolation of the other branches so that they can be pulled into master when needed. And if one is running behind and is going to miss the deadline, no problem. We release just what we have in master or main so far, and that next item we can save for our next release. So I'm going to show how to do this in Visual Studio, uh, but I'm going to kind of do it in two parts. This video, I want to be nice and concise, and so I'm only going to focus on creating a branch, doing the pull request, the merge, synchronization, so on and so forth. I'm going to pause this video halfway or partially through recording it, and I'm going to do another video where I actually make the changes. So I will go ahead and link that video here if you're curious, but that way the video is cut into two different parts. So if you're just interested in the Git stuff, you can just see that without the other stuff I'm doing. But when I see you again in a few moments, we will see those changes from the other video. But first, let's go into Visual Studio and create a branch. And let's, all, let's also take a look at my current GitHub repository. If we look at this repository in GitHub, we can click right here, which shows all of our branches for the repo. And you notice that we only have one called master. As a matter of fact, if I choose view all, we see that we only have one called master. And this is a brand new project, so I haven't done any feature work on it just yet. Let's compare that to another project I have that's a little bit older. This is one that I used as a lecture exercise in a previous course. And so if we click, you'll notice there are numerous branches here. And that's very intentional because when I make a learning module, I design it to be about a week worth of learning. And each one has its own branch so that that way, if you just want to know how to do something specific, for example, GPS and maps, you can click here, you can click on the commits and you can see the commit history up to and including that specific feature without any distractions from other features. So let's see the view in Visual Studio. In Visual Studio, you can see your branches on the lower right corner here. You see, once again, we have master, which is the default branch, or more often now it's called main. Note that we can make a new branch right here. So I'll call this one dynamic title. And you notice it has a couple of options here. Number one, base on master. So essentially, we're taking a photograph of master, and that's what we're using to start this branch. We also have checkout branch, which means that we'll be working in this branch after we choose checkout. As a matter of fact, notice it says master here and allow me to choose create. Now you notice in the lower right, it says dynamic title, which is our new branch. And if I click, uh, we can see dynamic title and also master. So this is the point where I'm going to pause the video and make another video where I do some changes. You won't even notice that because in just a moment, I'm going to pick back up after those changes are made and we can watch as I do a commit, push, merge, and all of that other stuff that we need to do. So I'll see you in just a moment. Okay, I'm back. And I've made some changes. Let's take a look. So still in this dynamic title branch, and we can look at the index CSHTML CS. And again, in a different video, I added some things here. I also made a change to the index.cshtml to basically make some of this more dynamic. Now, if we take a look, we know in our branches, we'll see both dynamic title and master. But if we go to GitHub at this moment, I'll go ahead and refresh the repo, and we still only see master. So how do we get dynamic title up there? Right click, there are a couple ways we could do this. I'm going to go to Git, and then say commit or stash, and I'll say make title. And now commit all, I'm going to say commit all in sync. Now it said it created the commit locally, so I need to push as well. So I simply clicked on this one outgoing zero incoming, 
And I'm going to go ahead and choose push. The other option would be to choose commit all and push from down here. And we see that pushing dynamic title started, everything goes away. Now let's go back to GitHub and refresh and we should see two branches here. And sure enough, we see uh, master and we see dynamic title. Now I do want to merge dynamic title into master, but before I do that, I wanna show one thing that's a bit of a tricky situation that I think might be helpful. And that is, remember that when we're using branches, many times we have multiple developers working together. So what if another developer pushes something into master and we want to take that into our branch before we merge our branch. Okay, let me now put on the hat of another developer. So I'm going to go back to Visual Studio and I'm going to go from dynamic title to master. Now we see I'm on the master branch. I'm going to go to index CSHTML and I'll just do something silly here. I can say, close enough, save. And now get changes, we'll say welcome message and this time let's do a commit all in push back to github and now this is going to get a little bit interesting so on the master branch we see that i have welcome message which i just committed and before that we have enhanced the greeting on the first page now let's go to dynamic title and notice that we have enhanced the greeting on the first page but then the next commit is different the next commit is make title dynamic. So let's pull those changes from the master branch into the dynamic title branch. We could even make another change after that and then push again. So I'm going to choose my branch, I'm going to go back to dynamic title. Now watch carefully here because this is very interesting. I'm going to go to master, right click, and I'm going to say merge into current branch. And I will take a look at our index CSHTML. And take a look, we essentially have everything here. We have the changes that we did in this branch, and we also have the change we did in master. Now that step that I just did, the merge into current, you don't always have to do it, but it's not a bad idea, especially if you're working with multiple developers on a project and you wanna make sure that you're staying in sync. That will minimize things like merge conflicts, which can be a real pain. Now, if I take a look, I have two outgoing and zero incoming. So we see something kind of funny here. We see we have a little subway map here where we have our local history and then we have this merge. You're basically pulling in the changes from master. Let me go ahead and hit push. And by the way, what does the subway map mean anyway? This was on our main or master branch. Then remember we created our dynamic title branch and we did this change, but then we also did a change to master. And when we pulled the two together, now we're back on the same subway line. So you can kind of see how we have parallel tracks going on here. This from dynamic title, this from master, and now it shows dynamic title and master in sync. Where actually, if we look at master, we know that master does not yet have the changes from dynamic title. You see, that's just a straight line, and it ends with welcome message. So what we'll do now is we'll do a pull request and then a merge on GitHub, and then we'll sync everything right back down to Visual Studio, and we'll see what it looks like. Let's take a look at our dynamic title branch in GitHub. Notice make title dynamic, and allow me to refresh this page. And now you see that we have merged in those changes from master by doing the merge into option. I'm gonna run back out to plant diary, and notice that GitHub helps me out here, and it says, oh, by the way, I noticed that dynamic title changed. Do you wanna create a pull request? Well, yes, I do. But one more time, let's look at master branch. And remember that master branch does not yet have those changes from dynamic title. Let's merge those together. So a merge is going to start with a pull request. And then we're going to say, bring in the dynamic title, create pull request. Note able to merge. We like when we see that because we didn't know we don't need to do anything manual to make it merge. It's simply saying, okay, I noticed that the changes happen in different places and I can put them together myself. So uh, this branch has no conflicts with the base branch. Oh, that's magic. So I hit merge pull request. And now what it's going to do is it's going to merge the dynamic title into master. And sure enough, there we have merged. Let's go back to our repo. Notice that the master branch now has eight commits. We come back down here and we see that the master branch 
has the dynamic title changes that I made when I paused this video and went off into another video. So now let's go back to Master Branch and let's make sure that Master Branch has these updates as well. Because if we take a look at index.cshtml, uh, we'll see it, it doesn't yet have that dynamic title. But no worries, that's an easy fix. I, I can go to the uh, Git Changes, and over here I can go to Team Explorer. Again, many ways to do this. I could do a pull, which simply means grab everything from GitHub, or I could do a, uh, I could do a sync, which means do a pull and then a push. Let's go ahead and do a sync. That's a good habit to get into. And look at that. Just a few moments later, sure enough, we have all of the changes in master now. And we can look at our, I'm curious, yeah, we can look at our subway map. We see that we had our dynamic title branch, and we have pulled our dynamic title branch back into master. So this embodies what we saw on this animation that I showed a little bit earlier. Let me go ahead and just show that one more time, where we know that we can make a change to master directly, but we can also create these feature branches, which give us that protection to be able to do experimental development and parallel development. And only when a feature is complete will we invoke the pull request and then do the merge. And when we invoke the pull request and then do the merge, we are adding on to the master branch as we just saw in GitHub. We took those commits from the dynamic title branch and we added them to the master branch. My software development career has spanned over 25 years, and I can say in that time that there are certain times I've seen fundamental shifts that have really changed the way that we develop. If I look back, I can think the internet, uh, mobile programming, Scrum, that was a big change. GitHub, without a doubt, is a fundamental change in the way that we work. And understanding GitHub and how to leverage it to make team-based development happen well, and to manage our releases and our release dates where one feature falling behind doesn't hold up the whole release, that is absolutely central to being able to manage a software development project, minimize risk, end up with higher quality and happy customers. So I certainly hope that this video has helped you to do that because I know you're doing something wonderful that's going to change the world, and I can't wait to see it. Please do share it with me, and any comments you have on this video, share those with me as well. Thank you.